Hope everybody's doing okay. I am Tersh with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. Let's see what kind of messages, if I can get this one, see what kind of messages Spirit has for us for the next few days. This will be for anybody who's already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. So there may be some delays revolving around love and finance. Both of those came out. So for many of you, you may feel as if something is being held back for you. You do have money improvements coming, however. So if you are somebody that's that's having delays around money, just know that improvements are on their way. You may feel, feel like you don't have a solution in sight. But what Spirit is telling me is that we have one, two... Two cards that are saying there's delays around money or finance. One of the, or two of the cards are talking about money. One of them could be referring to uh, connections and romance. But we have two cards, uh, the first and the third card, that are talking about delays revolving around money. But in the middle of that, the balance is going to come through some sort of money improvements. This is going to be some sort of guidance that's given to you to start a new project that may help you to make money. Maybe it's about making some sort of agreement with a partner when it comes to revolving around money. However, I do feel like some of you are feeling like you're a little bit left out in the cold that you're not, I don't know, feeling like you're not going to make it. Maybe even feeling bored. I've been feeling very, very bored with the things that I'm doing. However, at the end, there will be victory. There will be good news on its way. So Expect that things will start to shift and change around for the better. You may feel at this time, though, that there is, you know, an ending to something. This ending could be an ending to the way that you're thinking about the way that money comes in. Or maybe it's an ending to a job or a career or maybe an ending to one relationship so you can move into another relationship. But I feel for many of you, this is revolving around finances. You are being asked to take a step back. Maybe some of you feel like you're a little bit hung up and this being hung up is just showing you different perspectives of why there's a waiting period, why you have to be patient, why the money is not coming in just yet. There is some sort of cycle that is needing to be ended, and this cycle may be revolving around programming that has to do with money, feeling like you'll never be enough, you'll never make enough, maybe that you don't are, are not talented enough, whatever it may be. Um, you know, the waiting period is because of this needing to end. So at... The conclusion of all of this in and out energy, this back and forth energy, there is going to be something to celebrate. Okay, this could be referring to uh, brighter days ahead. But what I'm feeling right now is that spirit has shown me that there's something worth celebrating. This could be a connection coming together, a business proposal starting to finally work out or this celebration of finances that are coming in. Which cards do I go to? Thank you. I feel kind of like it's going to shift gears here for some reason. I feel like this was like showing me it's going to be a wave of different things that are happening with delays with money. You may feel a delay one day and then two days later, all of a sudden a breakthrough with money. Then all of a sudden for the next few days, it's delay, 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 then a breakthrough with money. Okay. So for many of you, it's just a learning process right now is what I'm feeling. Uh, a lot of feeling like there's uh, energy, I'm not supposed to say, okay, energy, um, back and forth energy, up and down type of energy. Yes, they're saying. So, fall into my arms is asking you to surrender your worries, your cares, your concerns to that of a higher power. This could be your higher self. This could be the universe. It could be God, source God. It could be your angels. It could be whatever. But there's a feeling of there's a lot of extremes from one extreme to the other. Just like I was saying with this energy around delays with money or delays with, with romance, it's saying that you're going to feel like a push and pull. You're going to feel like there's some tower moments. However, these these delays are necessary. There's something that will be proven to be worth it. Um, there may be an energy of, of needing to forgive yourself or others for some sort of circumstance, or maybe it's uh, that whoever may be coming towards you, there's something that they need to forgive and become aware of before they can move forward in a connection. Either way it goes, this is an energy of writing past wrongs, making things right, uh, making things a little bit more stable and better. Which cards do I go to? Thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please, for the next few days? For all those who are already, am I supposed to take this one as well? Okay, so we do have versatility, which is asking you to be flexible. And whatever the situation is, there's going to be a lot of ins and outs, ups and downs, things of that sort. So the needing to be flexible, um, adjusting to a lot of different things that may come about is what this is saying. The need for being patient is very, 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 very strong right now for whatever reason. 
So come of you, some of you are coming into this energy of fulfilling your life or making yourself feel more fulfilled by um, stepping into your role, into your mission, into some sort of calling. So the fulfillment that you're going to have and the victory that you're going to receive is when you walk into this role as a guru, a teacher, a healer, a musician, an artist, a um, somebody who is an informant for some for some sort of information, whatever it may be. Spirit is saying the, the quicker you move in that direction, the quicker the ending of this cycle is going to happen and the quicker you're going to be able to celebrate the money coming in, financial security, financial independence, a connection taking it to the next level or what have you. They're showing me two more cards with these, so let's see. There may be an invention of sorts or maybe an energy of something that's very original or maybe a unique type of talent that spirit is asking you to put time and energy into. This is also something that is going to bring fulfillment. So for me, I've been feeling like I need to get back out and engage with people. Maybe um, I am a member of a 12 step program. Haven't been there in a couple months. Maybe I need to go back there so I can start hanging out with people so that um, I can share some of my gifts and talents with them. And one of the ways that I, one of the things that I'm wanting to become stronger in is being able to channel through my hands. So I have to be able to be around people for spirit to come through for me to channel through my hands and help people. So one of the ways that I'm going to be able to develop this gift is by going out and being around people. So for many of you, you may just feel the need for being around others or what have you. However, there is something that you're putting time and energy into that is not producing results. Spirit saying that if you put time and energy into this, it's not going to produce results. So I feel like it's either for two different reasons. One reason could just be that it's not meant for you. And you'll know you'll have that gift of discernment that tells you, no, it's not for you. But it's, there also is just like a time of waiting. Maybe it's just not the right time yet. So it's not going to produce results because it's not meant to just yet. Not these. Which cards do I go to, please? Thank you these which cards what other messages do you have please for the next few days for all those who are already aware so push through any fears doubts or insecurities that you may have this is a time of detoxing the mind i feel like many of us are going through a process of letting go or clearing energies that are keeping us stuck these are energies of fear doubt insecurities things that may be telling us that we're not good enough not worthy not whatever okay so pushing through some of these things now some of you may have already healed these type of aspects and maybe it's coming back to the surface just to make sure that that it's either one completely all cleared or maybe it's just that there's something else that you need to see about those feelings of being worthy or um, unworthy what have you but the need for detoxing the mind is what i am feeling uh this card is really talking about this may even be like a conclusion to some sort of detoxing of the mind the way that you think the way that you act the way that you say things and things of that sort I was told to read the bottom, which is be proud of yourself. You have been transforming and adjusting through so many different types of scenarios. I feel like for many of you, this is spiritual development. For many of you, this spiritual development is leading to more money. However, for some of you, this is referring to a connection with spirit as well as connection with others. So there may be something that you've learned and, and uh, been experiencing that is helping you to develop your connections with others or with spirit in, in a much uh, deeper sense. And I'm hearing yes, yes, yes. Which cards do I go to, please? Thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please? So the roar is talking about bouncy, enthusiastic energy, pure potential in a situation, seeing the potential by taking a step back and becoming that hangman. You become stronger for it, meaning for set, taking a step back and maybe distancing yourself from someone or a project or something like that, you start to see that things pan out for the better because of it. The undressing of a salad is seeing things from many different perspectives. Why? Because there's been something that's been shaken up. There's a tower moment. There's a storm, so to speak, either at your house or just leaving your house. And maybe it's taught you some sort of, of energies of... Um, potential just because things were tossed up and it's like okay well if that wasn't tossed up i would have never seen that there was potential in this uh, situation or what have you i am being told to read the bottom which is the loom which is talking about trusting in the process i do feel like the reason for trusting is because there is some light coming to the shadows whatever these shadows are whatever is happening in the dark whatever it is that is keeping you feeling stuck at this time it's going to come to the light and you're going to start to have i feel like 
rewards. I don't know why rewards is coming out. It kind of doesn't even fit into what I, I was saying here, but rewards for some reason is being brought to the surface. Which cards do I go to, please? Thank you. What other 1001 guys look that up on sacred scribes. What other messages do you have for us, please? So some of you may be making an agreement with somebody. This could, it could be an agreement revolving around romance, love, but it could also be an agreement when it comes to like some sort of calling. So this is a card of philanthropy. It's also a card of seeing the beauty in others. So this may be a time of seeing through the eyes of God, the eyes of the universe. Maybe when you look into the mirror, you see things that are making you disgusted with yourself or you think about things that you're not doing and it makes you disgusted with yourself. But God chooses to show you through the eyes of what it sees. So it will show you your talents, your attributes, those things that you're good at instead of continuously showing you those things that are negative. So it's almost like your mind is being retrained through the eyes of what God is showing you. Uh, or through guys, God's eyes with what it, it is showing you. Anyhow, a partnership or an agreement may be coming um, into fruition for some of you. This is talking about taking a connection to the next level, maybe engagement, moving in with somebody. This could even be referring to um, just saying, okay, let's make this official. Let's be a committed uh, connection. Let's let people know like we're boyfriend and girlfriend or, you know, whatever it may be. Then we do have the key, which is also talking about success. So we do have um, success, fulfillment, partnerships, things coming together, uh, a waiting period being over, news of victory. So there is a lot of improvements coming on its way, on the way. However, in the midst of all of these improvements is also some challenges that are, are experiences that are going to help you to see things differently. The lilies talk about happy uh, family, happy home, a forecast of happy times of head. So again, we have a key to success and the lilies, which represent happy times ahead. Let me get I am divinely guided in all that I do. I am cherished. I am loved unconditionally by God, the universe and the angels. I am successful in all that I do. I am telepathic. So telepathic communications are coming in from spirit, from higher self, working with you. So pay attention, 1221, to those repeated thoughts, the music lyrics that are playing in your head. If you're seeing numbers in your mind or just repeated numbers on a clock or something, pay attention. I am high, uh, wait a minute. I am Christ consciousness. I am higher consciousness. I am transcending animal instincts. I am healing. I am unconditional love. And they told me one more. Sacral chakra governs how you feel sexuality, creative expression, emotions, manifestations, passions. Go after them. I hope that you guys got something out of this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow if you don't already. Thank you to anybody who does. If you're interested in a full reading giveaway, please like this video as well as putting a comment or an affirmation down in the comments as a way of helping my YouTube channel to get an algorithm to be seen more and to help more people. Thank you guys so, so much for doing that. If you are interested in, in a live uh, readings that I do where I am uh, giving either two cards away, four for five or nine for 15, then you can join me on a Facebook group called Healings, Readings, Empowerment, and More with Trish Poe. Uh, again, this is on Facebook. You have to be a member for me to be able to see your comments, so please make sure that you're asking to be a member and then you can participate in any future live events. Thank you guys for all of your support. Much love to you guys. Bye.